Okay, folks, I'm going to tell you a wee Irish shrimp style pattern. Now, this one's called the Bond Shrimp. Um, this pattern originated on the Carn Row Beat on the Lower River Bond in Northern Ireland. Um, good fly for fresh fish, and it's all good. It's all good fly too for tempting um, those resident fish that may be in the river in the system away. So the hook and the vise is a size 10 partridge patriot double. The thread that I'm going to use to tie the fly is uni 3801 black. So simply just going to come in and get the thread started behind the eye of the hook. Run on a few turns and remove. Spread away the waist tag. Now the, the tag and the ribbon on the fly is going to be the Vanyard French tinsel. This is just oval tinsel. Size 14 is a small. So I'm just going to take a good length off here to do me for the tag and the rib. So I'm just going to offer this up to the hook. Fluff there. And I like to tie in my oval silver tinsel underneath. And then bring the oval silver tinsel underneath the shank of the hook. And then just run your thread down, tying this in. Now I'm just going to bring the thread down until I'm in line with the point of the hook. There. And then I'm going to come around with four turns of the oval silver tinsel to create the tag on my fifth turn, bring it up and in between the two hooks. Come around with a turn to hold, a couple of turns to secure that in. And then we'll come in and trim away the excess. Now the tail on the original pattern was just natural um, golden pheasant red breast feather. This is just a golden pheasant red breast feather dyed red just to give it a wee bit of extra colour. So just take away all the fluff, rubbish at the bottom of the feather. And just come in and stroke back the fibres to reveal your tip. And then we'll just offer this up to the hook. Remember the turn to hold, another turn to secure, fold back the tip. Bring your thread turns up over the tip and the haggle. I just like to bring the thread turns up to the top of the hook. Keeps the thread, the bobbin out of the way and allows you a bit of room to work. Yeah, we'll just come in and remove the excess of the tip. And then we'll just stroke these fibres back. And we're just going to simply do one turn in front of the other. Right. Nine times out of ten, the golden pheasant, the fibres may get wrapped around in each other. But don't worry, we'll come in and brush that out. Just concentrate on getting the feather onto the, onto the hook. I'm right. going to use up the whole feather to there. Bring my thread back down into position. Come round with my thread, catch it in, in a couple of turns to secure. Now, I like to keep the stem underneath the shank of the hook, and that's simply to keep the body as smooth as possible because it's going to be floss. So, run this up halfway, keeping the thread tight, break away the stem. Then you can come in with an old brush, it's just an old toothbrush. You can just brush out the, the fibres that you've caught in while you've been winding the haggle. Now on the way back down we'll catch in the rib and that's the same oval silver tinsel as we use for the tag. A couple of turns, catch it in underneath, bring it underneath the hook shank and then just bring your thread down tight up against the tied up against the tail. Rear body, bright yellow floss. This is just a uni floss. Now if you don't have bright yellow floss you can use bright yellow seals fur or yellow dubbing. Do the same stuff, do the same job for you. Now, just come around with a turn and catch that in, pull it in the length of the rear body. And then just run your th thread up, tying this in. Now, it's like the Bring the floss through my fingers to open it out a bit. Nice tight turn onto the tail. And then one turn touching the other with the floss. A couple of turns of thread to catch the floss in. Come in and trim away. Then we can bring up our rib. And you're looking roughly three turns onto the body. Up to there. Pulling around with your thread couple of turns to secure, come in, trim that away. Now the mid haggle is just a hot orange Chinese cock haggle. 
So we'll just come in, stroke back the fibers to reveal our tip. One turn to hold, another turn to secure it in, fold back the tip. Bring your thread back up over the tip on the haggle. Then you can come in and locate the, the tip and you can break that away. I just come in with my scissors and just stroke that. This just helps the fibers to sit back for you. Now the turns of haggle, always a personal preference. Many heated the baits on, many turns of haggle you should put on to a fly. It's up to you, it's your fly. But don't let anybody tell you any different. So I usually like to put three on. It also depends on the quality of the feather that you're using. So just come around with our thread, catch that in, a couple of turns. Now what I like to do is, is the strip. It always takes a wee bit of time. You don't have to do this. It's just that I like to catch in the stem underneath. Run my thread up, keeping my thread tight, break away the, the haggle stem now. Don't worry about all these fibers that are going forward. You can just come in and fold these back. A couple of turns will hold them back for you. Then you can come in with another length of the oval silver tinsel. Same stuff, oval silver tinsel and small. Just going to catch it in underneath again. Bring it in underneath the, the shank of the hook. And then just work your thread back down tight up against the mid haggle. Okay, now we're not looking too bad. Front body, you need floss and black. Just come in, take a length of this off, offer it up to the hook, just put it in the, the length of the front body. Run your thread up, and then just much like the The yellow floss at the back, nice tight turn on to the mid haggle, and then one turn slightly touching the other up the front body. The there, put it around with your thread, a couple of turns will hold that in. Come in, trim that away, bring up your rib, and you're looking three turns of the oval silver tinsel onto the front body. with a couple of turns of thread catch in your oval silver now at this point you can put on your jungle cock if you wish um i like to put the jungle cock on last so the front haggle is just a silver bodger cock haggle so i'm just going to come in stroke back the favors to reveal the tip offer this up turn to hold another turn to secure fold back the tip bring your thread turns back up over the tip on the haggle come in you can bring away your tip same again, just come in with your scissors and just stroke the fibers back. And one turn in front of the other. Much like the mid haggle, the turns of haggle are entirely up to you. It's your fly. It's thick. The fibre on this haggle is thick. So I'm just going to put on two turns. Let me see. Put in another one. So that's three there at the front again. Come here with a turn to hold. A couple of turns to secure that in. Right. I'm just going to come in and trim away the, the stem of the haggle. I usually like to fold them back, but I'm just going to trim it away. And just got a couple of turns, a nice bed, a bed of thread down here for the for the JC to go on, for the jungle cock to go on. Right. Two jungle cock guys here on my desk. What's in there? So, just want to stroke back the fibers. Get myself a tan in point. And I'll offer these up to the hook. We'll just come around. Just hold them on the sides. Just come around with a couple of turns. Just to secure them in. Right, at this point, We'll come in and see what the length's like. Right, this one here is just a wee tad too long, so we'll have to pull it in. Just want to check. Okay, happy enough with that. 
So what I'll do now is just tighten up with my thread turns. Coming down to the, the eye, I'm going to fold back the, the stems. Fold it all back nice and tight, keeping your thread tight. Bring your thread to the, the eye, and then you can build up your head. Now, see if you can get into the habit of doing this, folding back your jungle cut. It just means that it has to break off. It can't, the jungle cut can't pull out. Keeping your thread tight, you can break away the stems. The jungle cut, keeping the, still keeping the thread tight. Just come in with your whip finishing tool and throw in a whip finish, tidying the head up at the same time. Keeping the thread tight, just come in with your scissors and trim away the, the excess thread. Right. That's looking good. So, first coat on the head. Super glue, this just helps to seal the thread turns up. Makes for a very, very strong fry. Just work this right round. You don't want it anywhere else. Don't want it in your feathers or in your jungle cock. Just on the head. And there you go, folks. That's the bond special. Now, I've just brightened it up a wee bit with the red, the dyed red, golden pheasant at the back. But that's a really good fly to have in your box. There's also a Clara tail version, which is good. Um, and it's good in low water. There's a low water version as well, and the low water version. You just take away the, the orange mid cock haggle and tie in your golden pheasant as the mid haggle. So look, anyway, give the fly a wee go. Have a couple in your box and hopefully it can catch you a few fish.